often ask me if it's possible to record the MIDI and audio information from a virtual instrument simultaneously. It's very easy to take existing MIDI information on your project window and to freeze it, to export it, or to use render in place to turn it into audio on your project window. Let's take a quick look at some clever routing tricks that we could use to record both the MIDI and audio simultaneously. When we look at this, we have a virtual instrument open. We can see our instrument track here and our output. So I'm going to hit play. I can see the output from the virtual instrument going directly to my main stereo bus. There's two different approaches to this. The first one is we could actually go to your VST connections from your devices menu. And at this point, let's just create an output bus. So I'm going to click here on add bus. We'll make it a stereo out. Now what's important to understand is this output bus is really just defining a destination. It's not, it doesn't have to be physically connected to any audio hardware. So if you have just a two in two output audio interface, at that point, what you could do is just have it routed to nowhere. And then you don't have to have it correlate to physical outputs of your audio interface. So I've created a destination with method one of creating an output. I could also create a different way of creating a destination is to add a group channel track. So I'll add right click in my track list here and let's add a stereo group. And this is just another destination. I'm going to call it a drum bus and we'll hit add track and that's been created. So what I want to do is to actually take the audio output of the virtual instrument and route it to this bus. So I'm going to click on, we see the edit channel settings right here and we could do this two different ways i could route it to my bus directly here to my drum bus i also see my stereo out here i could also use my sends and then i'm just going to route it to my drum bus and then click on the power button to turn that on we'll close this so now when I play back audio from the instrument, we're going to see the audio of the instrument being routed to the bus and the bus being routed to the master output. So we'll send it some signal. So the audio out is going to the group or bus and the group is going to the master output. What I want to do is to just add an audio track. We'll make it a stereo audio track. And we'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll say Groove Agent Audio. And for this input, instead of just a stereo in, if I had routed to the stereo output, the alternate phantom output, I could choose that. Or in this case, I've routed it to the drum bus. So I'm going to choose the drum bus as my input. So now I set both of these tracks for record. Now Groove Agent has a very cool feature in that the MIDI tracks, you could actually have a MIDI output from Groove Agent. So whatever it plays, it will just automatically transmit that MIDI information as well. So I'll place both these into record enable, the audio and the MIDI. And now I'll just hit record. And now you can see the audio and MIDI being recorded simultaneously. Now, if you had multiple outputs for your instruments, you could have that routed and configured so that your kick and snare and hi-hat and toms could all have their own uh, channels, if, however you have it routed. But as you can see, using kind of a creative routing through alternate outputs or groups and using those as inputs to audio channels allows us to record the MIDI and audio simultaneously. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to click like and subscribe to the channel.